Hello and welcome to the TES Secondary Maths Resource of the Week number 114 with me Craig Barton. Now at the time of recording my year 11s are dangerously close to being uh, asked to sit their first GCSE exam paper and this resource is absolutely ideal for me for those final few days but also it's timeless. This is a resource that I will be using throughout the whole of next year and I'll tell you what I'll also be using it in between paper 1 and paper 2. It's called Going for Gold Problem Solving, and I think it's absolutely superb. So, after that build-up, this could be a big anticlimax, but I'm, I'm fairly confident you'll, you'll be impressed with this one. So, uh, it contains 21 files, and thankfully on Tez now, with one click, you can download them. Do you remember the days you had to click through every flipping one until you got it? So, one click, and you get everything, and I'll show you what it looks like. I've just got mine nicely saved into a folder here. And you'll notice there are 10 lessons, and each lesson contains a Word document and a PowerPoint document, and there's a nice little introduction as well. Um, I'm going to focus in on the uh, circle lesson here, lesson 8, and I'm going to show it you, and then I'm going to talk you through how I use it with my Year 11s. So every PowerPoint is set up the same way, with a lovely little title, um, and then this. And I really, really like this, because it shows students the kind of progression through topics. So circle, and there's an essential skill, an application, and then are you exam ready? And and I really like this. It's probably my favourite bit, and that this is consistent throughout all the lessons. Um, you say to the kids, you're 50% ready if you can do the consolidation questions, 60% if you can do the bronze, 80 for the silver, and you're 100% exam ready if you can answer the gold questions. Now, let's talk about the consolidation questions first. These are your basic skill questions that students need to be able to do to access any of the kind of unstructured, more problem-solving questions. So for this circle one, it's your classic thing. There's a circle, work out the area and work out the circumference. And then I like this as well, just a bit of a backwards one. If you've got the circumference, can you work out the radius and so on? So uh, if we go back to this, if the kids can do that, they know they're 50% ready. They're half the way there to be an exam ready um, in the topic of circles. And then we get this, application. Look at the gold question. Can you answer the question without any help? And then they have essentially a flow diagram which shows them which way they need to go about this. Now this is where I'm going to step in and, and show you the worksheet and what I did with my kids because the worksheet really is fantastic. So here's your first gold question and it's your classic exam style question. Now the reason I like this is because my kids often say to me, sir I get it when we do it in class uh, but it's always different in the exam. It's always weird in the exam and I don't know what I'm doing. And that has been a very common uh, common problem amongst students and this resource is designed to, to tackle just that so here's your sta here's your classic exam style question now what I did is I gave my students out all this all the gold so every student got a gold uh, version of the question and it was only if they were stuck and they could convince me that they were stuck that they then could access the next level of support and you'll see the silver question instead of it being sh a straight four marks is more structured it's broken down into four single mark questions and then if we go down down again we get to the bronze and it's the same question but it's structured even more really broken down really directed for the kids and my kids quite like this that because often they're the, they're the kind of students and I, I see this a fair bit when I visit different schools they're the kind of students who, who sometimes are reluctant to have a go at something for fear of being wrong and, and are reluctant to get started even and at a problem if they don't know that they're going to be able to finish it successfully all the way through but there was something psychological about knowing that this level of support was there knowing that if they were desperate they could ask for a silver and ask for a bronze that meant they were a bit more willing to have a go at the gold and what was really nice as well is some of my girls um, who were really struggling with the gold said can we have a look at the silver but they just had a quick peek at it a quick peek at part A to get them started then they cover the silver back up and try again so even though they had access to the full support, they didn't want to take it, they still wanted to push themselves. And it's really nice because that's not it. You then get a, goal, a second gold question, so another applied style question here with a circle, and this time with a square and a triangle involved. And again, there's your structured support for it, and even more structured support for it with things labelled on the diagram. And then you've got a, a third one, gold C, silver C, and this time we've got the classic pond. Um, and bronze and then again we've got gold D and gold E so some extra questions there and what's nice about this is that's all the way through that's the same for each one of these topics. Now, I'll tell you how I'm using this. So we finished the course now, um, and I'm going over revision, and I'm trying to spice it up as much as possible. So if, if I know my kids are particularly dodgy on Pythagoras or angles in polygons or something like that, I'll give them one of these, and we'll do it maybe for a lesson or maybe for half a lesson, or we'll do it in after-school revision. 
but I'll tell you when this is really really going to come into play for me and that's between paper one and paper two which we're doing at Excel specification so that'll be over the half term holidays and we'll get to see the kids uh, I think I think it's on the Thursday we get back so four days before the exam um, and if certain topics haven't come up, for example, Pythagoras, I'm not expecting to come up on the non-calc paper. Um, simultaneous equations may do, may not. Exchange rates, volume and surface area, percentages maybe, circles and so on. I think this will be a nice way to hone in on those calculator style topics and just in a more interesting way. And you don't have to use every single question. You don't have to use the lesson um, as they are. But I really like it for a structure of lessons. And I wish I'd discovered this a bit sooner because this would have been an integral part of my revision process process but I'm logging it for next year even though it's new spec GCSE next year all these topics are on there and this wonderful resource will be more relevant than ever with the new emphasis on increased problem solving so there it is going for gold problem solving give that a download and if you liked that resource why not leave a nice little review for the author because there's been a lot of work gone into that and it's an incredibly impressive resource okay take care and I'll be back for a new resource of the week next week bye for now